YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your main man, Trumpy959, with another pizza video. Can you dig it? I know you can. Hey, listen, man. The reason we're doing this video is we want to show um, the 70% hydration technique and how I do it. Um, water and instant yeast and salt and double zero flour. Not a big thing. And we're going to mix it. I think, I think the secret is like, for me, is in the mixing and using the uh, bench scraper. If you turn out 70% onto the counter, then you start, you know, putting flour on your hands and everything is sticking and then you start putting flour on the counter and now, guess what, you don't have 70% anymore. So we're going to make this on Monday, today. It's going to go in the refrigerator until Thursday. And then, um... We'll take it out Thursday at like 4 o'clock, so then it'll like rise one more time, and it'll be good to go. And here's the secret. This is this is the whole secret right here. I never even touched the stove. I couldn't touch the stove, because if I did, like look at how sticky it is. It sticks to the counter. I just keep working it, working it with the bench scraper. What I'll do is maybe, you know, I don't know, five, five minutes of this or so, and then I'll cover it and let it rest for ten minutes. And then I'll come back and do that two times. When the dough is wet and it hits that hot stone, that's what makes it blow up, that's what makes the air bubbles, which is like everybody likes. I think that's good for now. We're going to shut this off and we're going to let it rest. I'm going to set my ten minute timer. And we'll see you when I get back. 30 minutes later. That's beautiful right there. That dough is like so nice. It's so just how you want it. Just nice and spongy. And see that? Oh, and some oil in the bowl, right? Get it all in there. Get it all covered. Okay, here we are. It's been about four hours. See that? Look at the rise on that thing. Just yeah, give it a little jump start. Uh, and then now it's going to go in the refrigerator, follow me. Let's see. To a little resting spot until Thursday. Okay, here we go. It's Thursday. And it's been almost 72 hours. It's 4 o'clock. Time is of the essence now because I want it to rise again for another... You know as much as possible but it's four o'clock now so it's only going to be able to rise about three and a half hours but that's okay this has been cold right in the refrigerator since monday and we're going to divide it up ball it up and then let it rise again so this recipe makes like two you know 260 grams snow balls basically The dough is it's cold now, but um, I read that when it's cold, it forms a better skin. And I'm just kind of like folding it inside of itself again and again and again. It's sticky, but you know, it's touchable. It'll rise one more time. You know, we'll probably start the pizza oven up like around at 7.30. Yeah, it's sticking my fingers a little bit. It's okay. Gonna use that same technique with the scraper to get a nice, nice tight skin on this ball. And then hopefully it'll rise one more time, just a little bit. The texture of this dough is like what I've always been looking like. I've watched like videos of people making dough, and you know, it seems like wow, when they get to that point where they're forming the pizza, it just seems like the dough is so perfect and fluffy. And that's what um that's what happens to this. Like in three and a half hours when I roll this out, it's gonna be good. It's good right there. Okay, it's go time. It's Thursday night. It's about 7:30, 40-ish. And here's the dough after uh, rising up again. I got one in the semolina. It's just perfectly fluffy, just like you would, just like you would want it to be. The pizza oven is lit right now. So we're monitoring the fire, and uh, once we get up to temperature, we'll launch one of these. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to 
show you how perfect this dough is. Let's come in and take a closer look at this. It's just how you want it to be. It's fluffy. Yeah, so this is a like a three-day rise in the refrigerator. I made it on Monday. And, um, in the refrigerator. I can just feel how, how easy it is to stretch. It just wants to... The oven is pretty much ready to take on another pie. I got a little stretched out. I made this peel so that it's the right diameter for the oven. That's how I know. Don't, don't extend it over the edge of this peel or else there's going to be a problem. Cheese. Save a little time. I like grating the cheese I, instead of like breaking off chunks of mozzarella. I just think it melts better when you grate it. Let me just check this baby out and see how the fire is doing. Getting the uh, oven up to temperature. Just about ready to launch, I think. The stone is good. The stone is at 993. <laughs> the oven's right around 700. I just put some more wood in the fire. Forty seconds later. It's funny how the, uh, the temperature goes down so much between the pieces. That thing's blowing up really nice. This dough, I got this dough dialed in like it's so good. Oh my god, it's like it's better than it's coming out better than when I did the Polish, I think. Three day rise, 70%. It just blows up in the oven. 30 seconds later. Look at that. Look at that thing. It's crazy, right? I just gotta cook a little bit more. Oh, wow. Nice looking pie right there. This is where I burn it when I can't leave it in for too long. Ten seconds later. Yeah, that's gonna be close enough. Look at that. Really nice. Let's go over to the rack. We'll see what they look like next to each other. There we go. That's all she wrote. Those are two good looking pies. Thursday night, pizza night. Trumpy 959 and Mrs. Trumpy 959, thanks for watching.